From my previous videos, you can see that uh, there are no pressure sensors on the steering wheel and you actually have to jiggle the steering wheel or apply some resistance to the micro steer or micro corrections that autopilot provides, but not enough to break the tension on auto steer. Elon recently came up with a uh, blog regarding how um, the radar will be used to improve autopilot and uh, it goes into some details about uh, version 8.0 of the firmware and I really want to just highlight this one piece of it which is um, regarding how auto steer will not allow you to um, re-engage if you ignore uh, the repeated warnings which I find to be a real drag. The following video outlines how I went about defeating and silencing the Tesla autopilot nagging feature. Use at your own risk. I think it's around this bend that it usually nags. There it goes. Hold steering wheel. We're going to do the control test. And there it goes. It goes away when I put it up. Okay, so now I know exactly where it is. We're gonna go down and then we're gonna do a uh, U-turn and try again. Oh look, it goes in the nagging here. So we do the control again. And there we go. It goes away with this. Okay, so. We know exactly where the nagging happens now, so we're gonna go and uh, do another run, make uh, another pass, and this time we're going to enable this this thing here. Right around here is where the nagging happened last time, and so far no nagging. So I'm going to get off here. We're coming up to the nagging feature. There's no nagging. Defeated. No more nagging. And just because of this. And just because of this uh, rubber band. <laughs> So we passed the nagging area. I'm gonna go back and do it one more time. So it's supposed to nag me here to hold the steering wheel. Oh, it didn't do it. Oh, there it goes. Hold steering wheel. So, uh, yeah. I actually have to go further. So. There it goes. It goes away when I use the... So right around here is where we start getting the nagging. And let's see if it happens again. Nagging, nag... Nope, nope, no nagging. We will see... Still no nagging. There it goes. There goes the nagging. So it's a little, not exactly the same, but, but it, it, it's pretty much in the same area. So I, I just, you saw that I engaged it and then it went away. So the last test I'll do is one more. That's it. Here's the turn where it starts nagging. Somewhere around here and after the, the, um, the bridge. So. I'm gonna let it run. No nagging. It is kind of, uh, yeah, no nagging so far. I think it's a success. So basically, two rubber bands works fine. So sometime around here it still nags too, but just now 
a six team is success because there's no nagging uh, this is the autopilot stop nagging me bitch solution so around this corner around this turn it's supposed to nag me but uh, yeah it's it, it's not gonna nag me because I have sufficient tension here I had to double up on the um, rubber bands give me about two pounds of force and again it's about five pounds of force to break autopilot so I have no worries that it will cause any issues and this is it thanks for watching guys and uh, be sure to like and subscribe hey guys this is how you uh, attach it to the steering wheel and uh, you just pull it up to the GoPro mount up there and just loop it around simple as you can see this is how it looks like when it's mounted measuring the force of the rubber bands uh, I get about two pounds of force which is significantly less than what is required to break the auto steer all you need to do is buy a bag of rubber bands from Amazon like this uh, to make this you take two rubber bands and you take another two rubber bands you double them up and then you just loop them together and then just make a loop of uh, you do this another two times and then you end up with a, a string of four which you loop around the steering wheel like this so this is what the four uh, links look like and uh, all you have to do is uh, take this and wrap it around your steering wheel put it through the hoop make sure it's fitting nice and snug you could put it in back at the steering wheel but uh, I actually prefer to put it in the front of the steering wheel and then that's how I have it like that so that's it that's how you uh, disable the auto steer nagging <laughs>